people lying against me online, saying that. Now imagine all of us here Muslims. The enemies attack us. You're not going to start asking, are you Salah Sufi? Are you Ash'ari? Are you Maturidi? What we do? We fight back. You see, I, even I said that many times, yeah? But people still lie against me. You know? People still lie. You understand? So the point here is that, yes, we should not cooperate with innovation misguidance for claiming to support Gaza. We support Gaza. Alhamdulillah, we have our own platform. We expose what the Zionists are doing, kill our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Okay? However, when it comes to fighting us, if we live in a village and, and we have the power, we fight back. Now, if we don't have the power and there's no escape for us, we still fight back. If they, because there's no escape. Do you understand, Akhi? So, Alhamdulillah, that's why my dear brothers and my sisters, may Allah bless all, Shamsi is back to clarify the Quran and the Sunnah. Until now, no one can refute me the Quran and the Sunnah. Everyone, my father told me, my grandmother had dream, but Quran, even those guys, they knew they cannot fight me one, one to one. They had to bring four people. Even with four people, they knew. Akhi, Allahu Akbar. You know, now I made dua to Allah guide them. But even with four of them, they had a doubt we cannot beat Shamsi, we have to deceive him. What they said, they said salam to me. Salam, you know, Islam makes the kick. But before that, the big guy was kicking me, Akhi. I was going to ask him, brother, did I kill your father or something? The way he was kicking me, Akhi. You know, but, you know, I like to make a joke. You know, the last guy who tried to punch me, you see the punch he did? The last guy, man. I'll buy you a sweet if you come. I will give you some sweet. Lie, Akhi. You know, Alhamdulillah, anyway, we lie, we have the Prophet messages to carry on. Even there's some brothers out there, I have to make disclaimer. Some brothers, I don't even know them. They say, Shamsi, we're on the road. We're not practicing, akhi. This is your business, forgive, make dua. This is your business. But we're on a job. I said, no, don't give you money. But I said, we don't care. You know, but many people love me, Alhamdulillah, akhi. Many people even not practicing, they love Shamsi, Alhamdulillah. Because they see Shamsi, Quran, and Sunnah, with the Salaf. That's why I'm open to anyone come. And I've been doing it here. I'm not hiding behind, I'm not jihadist keyboard. You know, there's too many jihadist keyboard. Akhi, I speak this corner, defend Palestine many times. And guess who? I got Zionists. Four months ago, Akhi. There's certain things I said about Zionism can put me in trouble. But I will say it because I believe it's the truth. Alhamdulillah. So, but anyway, Akhi, so we don't have to start watering down uh, to uh, utilize. Wallahi, Akhi, some people are utilizing Gaza uh, 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 issue to justify their misguidance. We have to be careful because, the, 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 you know, have you not noticed Islam is spreading? Okay? A lot of people accepting Islam online. The enemies of Islam are watching. Have you not noticed? After the Soviet Union, Qaeda was created. After Iraq and Sham, ISIS was created. Now, there's a new wave of extremists going to create. That, they will utilize, the enemies of Islam going to use them to try to make Islam look bad. So we have to be cautious. We love Palestine, Philistine. We love all every Muslim country. We want good for them. We make dua for them. But don't be, oh, my, 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 the parents, watch out your children. You don't want to be your child to be killing innocent people in London than claiming he's doing it for Philistine. Because extremists now are back to life. And I told the Khawarij like cockroaches. The Khawarij like what? Cockroaches. If you turn on the light, they will run away. If you turn it off, they come back. Like these guys, they attacked me in dark. All right, so my point here is Barakallahu alaykum. Gaza, yes, we defend it, alhamdulillah. And one of the lies, or one of the brothers contact me, he loves me, he says, I love you, akhi. But how can you say, because of shirk, Palestine, they deserve it? I said, brother, can you show me where? Then he got me a video, he put it up, and I was talking in general. We were talking afterwards, what was the fitting in our countries, sometimes because it can be a test, sometimes it can be punishment, sometimes because of uh, uh, sins. Like what happened to me? It could be sins. It could be a punishment, it could be a test. I always deal with the Quran and the Sunnah, alhamdulillah. So I was talking about shirk, there's Algeria. The guy asked about Palestine, I said yes. Doesn't mean every Palestine is mushrik. In Algeria, there's a shirk, there's a shirk. But there's no of Salaf as well. But the people now, because what's happened in Palestine, they took that bit, tried to make me look bad. But guess what? After this incident, do you know how many people are contacting me? Even non-Muslims, asking. But you know, one thing made me very sad. You know, the beats, it not really hurt me. Do you know what hurt me worst? When I've noticed the enemies of Islam are utilizing that clip to make Islam look bad. Wallah al Adim, that hurt me more than anything else. When, how long have we been coming here to make, to refute the doubt against Islam? To show that Islam is not what this Karajai tried to portray. 
now in his Islam and the Rafida are happy. And everyone says Rafida is saying because he had al that's what happened to him. The other one said because he had Jesus. You understand? Every person is vomiting from his head. You understand? Who well, I said, Alhamdulillah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu got beat up by the Arab pagans. Abu Bakr al Siddiq. So getting beat up by a group of people doesn't make you good or bad. There's no criteria. The criteria, what is it? Quran and the Sunnah and the of the Salaf. All the time. Me getting beat up doesn't make me a righteous man. But I'm open to the truth. Go back to Quran and Sunnah, Alhamdulillah. And that's why they don't like it. Because Quran and Sunnah and the of the Salaf. But now, Akhi, that clip went viral. Akhi, it's exposure for me, for the whole world to know me. And to know what Shamsi is calling to. And one of the Islam, one of the far right, what's his name? Well, he's a British first of, uh, you know what's his name, I forgot about. He, uh, Paul, Paul, Paul Gordian, yeah? This guy put a moderate imam. He put it just to utilize in his favor. I'm a Salafi. I believe in Sharia of Allah is the best Sharia for every time and every place. You see what I'm saying? So, no, no, I believe Islam is the best religion for all the whole world. I'm against Zionists. I believe the Zionists are terrorists who are killing our brothers and sisters in Gaza. So don't try to utilize my clip for your favor. But I still pray to Allah guide you to the truth. You know, and to, to know that Islam is free from those people who are killing innocent people in the park. You understand? Alhamdulillah, akhi. Alhamdulillah. You see? So, 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 akhi. Afu, akhi. so those brothers, may Allah guide you, just look back, step back, say, okay, we rush Shamsi. Who people are happy about it? Rafida and the innocent Islam. So you made the people who, are, who hate Sahaba and who hate Islam to be happy about it. Alhamdulillah, you, that's why your, your achievement. Therefore, you have to check your heart. Either you're a clear enemy of Allah and his messenger to make the enemies of Allah happy for someone refuting Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Sikhism, liberalism, atheism. Alhamdulillah, but Allah give us sincerity anyway. Alhamdulillah. You know, the way, the, 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 now what we have to focus on more, like I said, exposing the Kharijites, exposing Rafida, and likewise exposing the Zionists. That's what we have to focus on. So we have to come with al that to clarify the truth, to support our brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, there is many ways to send money, but make sure the money is going to the right people. You know, Alhamdulillah. Even I want to make clarification to the nation about a specific situation, because it's an obligation from the Lord of the creation. So listen carefully. You know, I like to rise. I'm an Arab, we love rhyming, subhanAllah. Pay great attention. Yeah, pay, pay great attention. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters in, in Islamic nation. What was going to say? They say Shamsi was mocking Palestinians. Well, like anyone says that, are you ready to come to Mubahala? Just come Mubahala, we ask Allah. The hard one, Shamsi. Mubahala. Because you believe I was mocking the Palestinians. Mubahala in the park, online. Don't be rats in the real life and lying behind the keyboard. Face it, Mubahala. I'm mocking my dear brothers and sisters Palestine. Are you mentally disturbed? Are you been smoking crack for a long time? They like don't know what the heck you're talking about. I was talking about people who are hypocrites. You want to boycott Starbucks? Boycott Starbucks. If you're doing it for Allah, may Allah reward you. Understand? But just make sure you are sure about something. Like don't like one brother. I was drinking Costa coffee. They said no. They suppose Zionists too. I said, well, what I'm going to drink now? I'm going to make my own coffee as well. If I make my own coffee, I'm using the water of the British and they're having the Zionists too. Yes. If I buy stuff from the shops, the, 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 the tax money that I'm giving them, they're going to British government who are giving it, helping the Zionists too. There's no escape. There's no escape from it. There's no escape. You understand? So if you're on a boycott and you're doing it, but don't make the coffee equivalent to the bread of, of the Palestinians. The bread of the Palestinians is more honorable than the coffee. You understand? If you think a coffee is equivalent to the blood of Palestine or any Muslim, then you must be enemy of Allah and his messenger. You must be hidden Zionist. Because the blood of the Muslim is more honorable. So I was not mocking my dear brothers and sisters. I'm not mocking and I was not mocking and about people think I'm still gonna refute the Khawarij and expose the Khawarij and expose the Rafida, inshallah ta'ala. Non-stop, inshallah. I mean, well, just a, one thing may Allah give us ikhlas. Wallahi, that's the most important thing, man. Wallahi, yaqi. That's one thing that we should all, uh, all of us, like, you know, one brother mentioned a good point. He says, Sahaba, they used to feel nifaq for themselves. And then they never used to go around, uh, blame everyone munafiq. 
بان ودك خوارج ايفواز منافع اكسب دم سبحان الله ذا شو ديوات نو تقوى في الله الخوارج دوس هو ميك تك فيهم مسلم ليدرز دوس هو كول ذا بيبل تو ريبل انجز مسلم ليدرز سم اوف ذم ذي ار نو افري بيرسون داز ات سم اوف ذم ار افكت باي ات Some are Khawarij, yeah. The Khawarij, those who love the Western world, they run from the Muslim countries, claiming the Muslim countries are kafir. If someone asks, Baba, you should say, I don't believe Muslim countries are kafir. I never run away from Algeria because they are kafir, so don't use me. If you run away from Algeria, you tell me because they are kafir, and you're in Britain, you are Abdullah ibn Saba. Just say, yeah. What happened? You want silence? You want to ask a question? Muhammad, keep it high. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Two more questions. Yeah, go ahead. Recently, I had Brother Faris Al Hamadi on my show uh, because the same allegations were made about him and yourself. He clarified it many and times. He and he clarified it, but still, people are still retweeting uh, the uh, same. Why? Because why, Akhi? I believe there, is, there was a study done recently. Now, what's happening because there's a war? So many Muslims are just emotional. They're not thinking. You know, thinking. He said it even. Bro, how can you judge? For example, to make it clear. Imagine now, uh, enemy of Islam comes and said, you know what? In the Quran says, kill the kuffar wherever you find them. What are you going to tell him? Go back to the text. The context, yes? So why are you taking one minute a clip and you're going back to the context? And, and you know who did that? Haqiqat Chu. After uh, we had discussion with him in the park, he became mentally troubled. Literally, he became mentally troubled online. Shamsi, Shamsi, this and... He said, I staged it. He said, I faked what happened. This guy does not have vertigo. Just me sitting on the floor, I get dizzy. The way I was sitting, let alone people kick, let, let alone people kicking me. I know I'm strong, but I didn't know I'm very strong, people think I'm. I'm not that strong, you know. It's good to feel good of me, Barakallah Ikum. But anyway, Akhi, so this person became mentally, he started spreading the lies against me. But Akhi, Allah will judge between us. He's a liar, he's a kadab. My brothers, Hakikachu, do you know what he said? Dani Hakikachu. He said the Madkhal is. Seek help from the police. A brother Mutah put a video, he never threatened him. Do you know what he did? He started seeking help from the police. The same guy who said, if he's mocking Salafis by saying you seek help from the kuffar, no one threatened him, no one touched him. He just got scared. He said, you know what? We need to go back to the police. SubhanAllah, look Allah. You know what? If you are with Allah, Allah will always aid you. We'll lie. Even, you know what? We fear our sins. Baqi, alhamdulillah, just learn, barakallahu alaykum, study our deen, alhamdulillah, and let me clarify another lies. Some people say, and Shamsi says, if someone comes to kill you, go read the Quran first. Uh, brother, I don't know who, who Shamsi you're listening to. I can't remember saying that at all. Except if you are listening to me and listening to music same time and drinking alcohol. So I can't help you, well, guys, what are you going to say? I never said that in my life. I never said to the people of Gaza, just stay there. I mentioned Sheikh Rabi Ali Khali where he said, he said, people of Gaza, they should defend themselves regardless because they have nowhere to go. They have to fight. You understand? But what is very sad in our heart, the people of Gaza who are dying more, they're civilians. What is that? Why, why, why are they not protecting them? Why do they care about their party more than the people of Gaza? That's when you know Shamsi, he cares about the people of Gaza, alhamdulillah. But some people, they care about some parties more than the uh, people of Gaza. Well, we will be shot here for him. Barakallah. You know, how on the earth, uh, imagine Prophet Muhammad in the war, when the battle of Ahzab, where he said to Sahaba, make sure you go protect the women and children. But, but how, how they can he, he, protect people in Gaza? How come? If you cannot, sh sh if you cannot, shouldn't get involved then. Why? That's what Musa uh, Ibn Taymi mentioned. That's what the Ula mentioned. They said if a leader, will uh, 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 even with the war and let me clarify something to you today yeah, yeah, yeah. is a death clarification to the nation they said shamsi said the uh, uh, hamas started the war yes okay if you listen to the whole thing again i said no doubt the, the zionists started the war from before they invade palestine you understand they invade what yes no doubt about it. just exactly. even even before that they were killing uh, people in, uh, in, in in aqsa no doubt about that but i'm talking about proper war hamas themselves admitted it do you know who said it as well muhammad hijab in the show with peace morgan he said yes they started the war and he said hamas said it so why have problem with me then if hamas said it why you have problem with me you understand that's my point here is so sheikh al-islam mentioned 
that the scholar said, if a leader goes to war, okay, any war, defense or offense, if he's not able to protect the Muslims, he should not go. You can go back to it. Okay? You can go back to it, Akhi. What do you think about, uh, what, what do you think about 11,000? If they are defend yourself, defend yourself. Do you think yeah. improvement in army? Defend yourself, Akhi. And the people who have said they defend themselves, but you know what is worse? They have nothing to defend themselves. But they've been attacking them for 75 years. But, brother, I'm, I'm saying defend themselves. What should I do? Should I kill myself? They could blow up myself and train? I said, go defend myself. I said, go, Gaza, defend yourself. You want them to defend themselves? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Khalas, so we, we keep asking the same question. What do you mean to do? What do you mean to do for them? Now, I mean, you, the scholars, you should be like getting the Muslim, reuniting the Muslim, and standing up with, uh, with the Muslim brothers as well. In, in, in yeah, but brother, 100%. Yeah. They should do. But when we're here in Britain, are we sure if we're going to unite, we're going to leave all of us with Britain? That's a hard question, I think. So no doubt, the Muslim leaders should come together, no doubt. That's why make dua to Allah, unite the Muslim leaders to defend our brothers in Gaza. I mean, look, the people who are talking about me, they're not doing more than me, alhamdulillah, because I'm here defending Gaza, defending Palestine. Also, we make dua in our masjid, every first prayer. Alhamdulillah, I'm not accept it, but don't let us do alayna. Don't make it like you do something extra. Hakikat is not doing nothing for Gaza, except barking online. He doesn't, he doesn't have even a measure to make dua. We have a measure. We do qunut every more first prayer. They do qunut. May Allah accept it. So I'm saying defend yourself. No doubt, defend yourself. Defend yourself. Let them defend themselves and make dua for them. And expose. If you have knowledge how to expose the Zionists and you have skills on social media, show how these Zionists are murdering our brothers and sisters in Gaza. You understand, Akhi? What do you think what I said? Make sense? Yeah, now, now I got you. Uh, Alhamdulillah. I, I didn't get you earlier, but now I got you. No, we, we, uh, you know what's happened now? We talk in general, okay? In general, for example, in general, yes? When are you going to become Muslim? <laughs> you like Muslims, do you? No, I'm just listening. You're just listening? We're always here for that. I <laughs> We're like, he's Jewish. Are you Zionist? No, we're going to kill you because you are protected here. And, <laughs> you know, he's, he's a Jewish. May Allah guide him, man. I know him from a long time. Inshallah. For 10 years. May Allah guide him, man. <laughs> and when I spoke to him as well. Well, Inshallah. you know what I think, Akhi? Make dua for them. Because now, Akhi, me, Akhi, anyone that disagree with me, or like my brothers, if you disagree with my point or anything, or you heard something online, come forward and make sure Quran and Sunnah is between us. Sahih? Hada ahsan hal. Quran and Sunnah and the Salaf. Well, I don't know everything. I can be wrong many times. I, I made mistakes many times in my life. But let us go and do with the Salaf. That's why when the Mashiach called me, they said, Look, Shams, you love that lifestyle. You are there now, you're giving da'wah. So you are open to discussion. Of course, if someone comes to attack me, I'll try my best to defend myself. No fault, please. If you want to attack me again, just one, please. Now come on, happy brother, just one. <laughs> one and tell me you're going to attack me. Don't hug me and stab me. Okay? Anyway, so, so subhanAllah. They use like, be patient, you know, ask Allah to guide them and open discussion. You are there to give tawa. I say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, man. So if, anything, if you think I made a mistake or something I was wrong, you're more than welcome to say, look, I believe you made a mistake in there. Like, you know, like the brother said to me, you mock them about Starbucks. I said, show me. I said, go back to the whole video. He went back. He said, Akhi, I apologize. He said, you know, I made a bad, uh, I made a bad comment about you. I'm going to correct it. I said, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave you aql to go back and watch the whole video. Uh, the thing was about... Okay, salam alaykum. You know, in the Torah, what does it say? Just looking for Rafi, what does it say? Like you saw them, like, he retaliated. Islam, it gives you that right to retaliate, to, to, retaliate, to, to fight back. Retaliate. Retaliate. To retaliate. Yes, my tongue twisted tight. However, if you overlook and forgive and, and pardon them and make dua for them, it's much better as well. Understand? But on the condition, they don't carry on because, Akhi, like I said, I'm a, I'm a person of da'wah, you understand? And of course, I'm not the best example to follow. I'm saying this, but maybe if I see... Huh? Yeah, but I'm not the best person like Akhi. But I say, Akhi, I'm not real role model because why? I have my own, like, if I see them, maybe uh, the Algerian craziness kicks off, kicks in, Akhi, I just go majnoon, Akhi. You understand? Would you classify Hamas as a Hawarish? No, I never called him Khawarij. Yeah. I, uh, I don't care which school, tell me which school said Khawarij. Uh, which school? Uh, 
أنا 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 الارمي الفليق الارمي الفليق الاقصى ارمي هو كيد سنيس ان 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 عراق ان سوريا اني بريز ذيم لانه خرجوا على سلطه عباس لا انا ام اسكين يو بابا وات يو ثينك اباوت سمون بريزين سمون هو كيد سنيس ان شام بيكوز واي اف نوتيس والله ما دير بدرز اند سيسترز سام مسلمز دي دونت كير اباوت ذا مسلمز اول دي كير اباوت سبيسيفيك بيبل ذات وونت يوتيلايز ذيم فور ذا اجندا Watch this. What do you think about the Muslims that was killed by the Fulaq al-Aqsa, which is a Shi'i sect in Iraq and in Syria? What do you think about someone praising them and he said they are Shuhada al-Aqsa? Brothers, what do you think? What do you think about someone praise the murderers, praise someone who killed the Sunnis in Iraq and Sham? That's crazy. That's crazy, akhi, yeah? No, that's majnoon, yeah? Okay, do you know who knows it? Who does it? It's online. You can. It's not fake. Everything. Hamas, the leader of Hamas, said it. They praised them. But now, no, no, it's okay. The Sunnis, me like, it's like forget about Sunnis in Iraq and Sham. That's why now many Iraq and Sham they're coming out and say, what about us, my brothers and sisters around the world? Why don't you care about us? We've been killed. Subhanallah. But now I'm with every Muslim in Gaza fighting and Gaza Zionist for Allah's sake, not for his party. For Allah's sake, listen carefully. I'm with anyone in Gaza fighting for Allah's sake and get Zionist. Khalas, no question from you. Carry on, because why? I've noticed this question like that. Because you haven't answered my question. To show you that you don't care about the Sunnis. Yeah. Oh, Sunni. That's what I show you. What they do, Akhi, if the party that is fighting, it go in line with the agenda. For example, I'll give you the, the, the scholars, Sunni scholars, always speak the truth. When the people rebelled against the Algerian government, some Salafis did it as well. And they called Sheikh Rabia and Sheikh Uthaymin. Sheikh Rabia and Sheikh Uthaymin said, you're wrong what you did. They didn't say, oh, you're wrong. They said, yeah, but Akhi, Sheikh the Kuffar. He said, even that, you don't have the power, you don't have the ability, you're wrong. Because some people say, oh, if there were Salafis and fighting, you praise them. But look, the ulama, subhanallah. Wallahi, Akhi, even some people mocking me when I got very angry about my brothers and sisters being killed in Gaza. That shows you some people, Akhi, don't deceive you, say, oh, it's because of Starbucks, because of this, all of that lie. Because Shem said Quran and Sunnah, and people, some of them don't like Quran and Sunnah. That's why, Akhi, look, I'm not hiding, I'm not covering my face, am I? I'm everywhere, Alhamdulillah. And I talk to anyone, come. Alhamdulillah, we spoke to Christians. The people that at attack me, they don't like because I call Quran and Sunnah. May Allah guide them. They try to utilize something else. I do, I do, okay. I do man. good. Alhamdulillah. Not just them online. Because, okay, okay. What, tell me what I said is wrong. I thought you said, um, you tried to say, don't boycott Israel. I said what? That's what, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's, that's what you heard, okay. I never said don't. So Firstly, okay, show you a clip. I see my, he's proving my point. He showed him a clip. And may Allah bless you for asking me the question. Firstly, I don't believe country called Israel. I believe country called Palestine. Secondly, how on earth someone who's fighting and gets Zionist in the park in Britain, he's gonna say, if you want to boycott Israel, so called Israel, you boycott them. Yeah, you want to boycott them, boycott them. How can we boycott them now? No, no, how can we boycott them? No, no, how can we boycott them? No, brother, brother, how can we? I didn't say we shouldn't boycott them. I just said, you want to boycott them, boycott them. How can we boycott them? The question. Collective action, the, the yeah, like what? Together. Yeah, boycott you know, what? Boycott so, what? So, if, um, if for example, I don't go Max Spencer because I have clear proofs. Max Spencer, they have Zionists, yeah. but I don't force it on him. If I see him in Max Spencer, I don't get him in Munafiq because that's my personal choice. You understand, Akhi? I don't make it like a pillar of Islam. Like some people now, no. if you drink Costa Coffee, you're a believer, if you drink Starbucks, you're Kafir. So, Costa Kofi makes you believer. You understand? No, no. Like, I, I, I don't go because I have a clear proof Max Spencer is a Zionist supporter. I don't go there. Alhamdulillah. But I don't force it on people. If I see a brother going to Max Spencer, I may think, yeah, maybe he's Munafiq. Maybe. What's no, this? No, That's my point, Akhi. And I mentioned that many times. Because also, in the Quran, you want to do it, do it, Alhamdulillah. But my problem is when you start accusing your Muslim brother and sister 
if they don't follow what you follow. You understand? Even though they make dua, they cry, and all of that. No, because, because now, Max Spencer, like for example, if I see a brother making dua for Gaza, defending Gaza, uh, refuting Zionists, uh, where well, you could do everything. And I said to him, no, no, I don't think you are. I think you're Munafik. Why? Because you don't boycott Max Spencer. But that's not, that's not the end of it, brother. The, you know, people who are working, some of your tax money is going towards the government and the government is paying things. How are you going to... They didn't like gonna, it when I said uh, that. Are you going to stop working? They don't, they don't like it when I said that. stop working. Yes. So we have to think yes. in tax. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Should you stop paying... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, you know what? Should you even buy, from, buy anything from the shops? Because somehow when you buy something, the shop is paying you're what? You're part of the system. You're you? part of the system, you're paying tax. Yeah, exactly. You're going to say something, you cannot escape it, you cannot do this. We have to do, we have to do. No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, I'm coming to it. When you're boycotting Starbucks and Marks and Spencer, your intention, those are obvious, your root. Yeah. Right? Zionist. Okay. Your tax is not obvious now. It's obvious. No, no, obvious, obvious. Your tax money. Your intention is different for those two things. You're trying to feed your family. Okay. That's why you're paying tax. But uh, uh, let me uh, look. I'm gonna play that. Now, if someone says to you, if someone says to you, Starbucks is fran franchised, so not all the money goes to Zionists, it goes somewhere else. So my intention, I'm gonna pay them yeah. to, for that money to go somewhere else. Barakallah. I like you. I appreciate your hand for that. Good point. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But the point here is, that's my point. If you want to, okay, you want to boycott even whatever you like, if you, but you have proof, okay? Because what's happening sometimes now? Some companies are accusing the other companies to be what? Zionist supporter. And they boycott them, but in reality, the other, the other one's Zionist supporter. Well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, Akhi? So, Akhi, Barakallah. So, if you're doing it for Allah's sake, you do it. But, like me, Akhi, Max Spencer, I have clear proof, according to my knowledge. But I'm not going to force you, Akhi. And I start doubting you, Iman. I start doubting this. Akhi, that's why, that's why some scholars said to make it very, very um, powerful to do it like um, collective, all, not, all of us together. Not just all of us. For example, now, okay. For example, if we do on Max Spencer, yeah? yeah. Max Spencer gets shut down. Yeah. It's not gonna affect Israel. No. Or so-called Israel, it's not. Why? Because two weeks ago, America gave 14 billion. To whom? And remember, these big, uh, these big companies don't really pay taxes as well. Yeah. Remember that as well, okay. You know, they don't do taxes. So, okay, alhamdulillah, you know the problem is, okay, in our, we have to be careful. Don't let children online start dictating to us what should we do. Wallahi, okay, don't let our emotion, children, do this, do that. We have to be careful, barakallah alaykum. Just make sure, okay, if you want to boycott, like I said, uh, me personally, I boycott Max Spencer. Because I'm on an opinion, I don't have to seek permission from the leader. Even I said it before, people are still saying, Shamsi, are you going to fight back or are you going to ask the leader? Yeah, brother, how dumb can you be? How dumb? I said it many times. Yes, there's other opinion. They said you have to wait for the leaders. But us living in the Western world, there's no Muslim leader. So you can do it by yourself. But also make sure, don't, ha don't be the best friend of Shaitan. You eat with Shaitan, you sleep with Shaitan, you watch dirty movies with Shaitan, everything with Shaitan, you don't pray, then you drive the world of a boycotting. Make sure you boycott Shaitan first. Barakallah alaikum. So that's my advice, my sisters. And also, let us... Alhamdulillah, now we can pray night prayer. Yeah, now, Maghrib time? Maghrib time? Yeah, okay, yeah. we can pray night prayer, Alhamdulillah. Make sure you wake up for the night and make dua for your brothers and sisters in Gaza. Amen. Uh, may Allah bless you all, my brothers and sisters. And may Allah aid our brothers and sisters in Gaza. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us victory. And may Allah protect the Muslims from the, from the misguides of the Khawarij and the Zionists. Amen. And the Rafida. Amen. And all every misguided sect. <laughs>